Okay guys, so you notice in the unboxing, one of the things that I did this year that I'm kind of enhancing within my gear is upgrading my binoculars. And so what I went with is the Vortex and this is their Diamondback HD uh, version here. In terms of power, I went with a 12 by 50. We're gonna talk a little bit through what that means, um, but this is a very, very good product. I'm super excited about it. For those of you that maybe use Vortex or know about them, they have a second to none service package. Their customer service is absolutely phenomenal. Um, breakage, defect, or anything like that, that replace anything for the lifetime of when you own uh, any of their uh, glass, regardless of, of what it is. And so that really led me kind of in that direction of why I chose Vortex. Uh, in terms of power, one of the things that is really important to understand is I upped what I was using previously, which was uh, actually a loophole, which was about an eight by 32, which is not very high. Um, but understanding that, what it means to me and why I chose a lot of common power, which is usually like a 10 by 42, as opposed to the 12 by 50, and they do make them obviously even higher, is that if I think about that in terms of magnification, one of the things that this gives me above the 10 by 42 is at a thousand yards, the 10 by 42 gives me about uh, a 320 or, or around that neighborhood view uh, from a thousand yards. And so what you would be able to see from the naked eye at 1,000 yards basically moves that into about 320 or so feet. Um, and the 12 by 50 here actually moves that in even further to uh, about 270 feet. And so for me, the choice between the two was probably the fact that by me gaining almost another 50 feet, uh, I just felt like that was going to be worth the extra 20 to $30 that I would spend and what it may give me in terms of being able to identify more, see more. And then at the same time, their HD package just adds that little bit of clarity um, and crispness to what you're actually viewing. And so I'm super excited about this. Um, within the package itself, Vortex always includes uh, their vinyl harness. Uh, the vinyl harness that I currently use, actually, I like maybe a little bit better, so I probably won't use this just based on the fact that that vinyl harness that I use actually houses my rangefinder as well. I use a mole pouch on there. It's got a few other pouches so I can store some things, uh, some extra calls, my tag, um, lens cleaner, and, and those types of things. But um, they supply you with all those things. There's a lens cleaner in here. There's a shoulder strap in here and uh, anything else that you would need in terms of being able to operate obviously out of this box in itself. And uh, you know, most people, if you don't have a vinyl harness, um, you know, it, it's a great one. I know a lot of guys use it, but uh, I'm gonna probably attach this one to my existing one and, and uh, kind of see how it runs. One of the other things that I will probably do based on the fact that I don't like to take my binos out of the harness itself and always have to deal with these. I really like this feature and the fact that um, if I want to get these out of the way, they can hang. But if we're doing a lot of glassing in itself, uh, I don't want to have to take these off and put them on. And then also just based on if you look at this uh, little tab here, it just takes up a little bit of space and bulkiness. And uh, the nice thing is, is these actually just come right off. And so I'll probably just remove these as I attach them to my own harness so that as I pull out my binos, they're, they're just more accessible and I can go straight to glassing when I pull them out. Uh, and I'll probably do the same thing with the top because usually uh, if I'm pulling in and out of the harness itself, I just wanna be able to take the glass up, look and, and not deal with these. And at the same time, a lot of times, uh, if you're messing with these a lot, you typically are going to potentially lose them. Uh, and they just are a little bit more cumbersome, which gives me a little more room in the bag as well. So um, if you're into or looking or in the market for a new set of glass, I definitely would highly recommend this. What I would tell you is uh, in the link below, we'll provide you with a direct link to these as well as some of the other options. So you can kind of check them out, see for yourself, look at some of the specs. These are waterproof, um, they're sealed, so you're never gonna have any issues with that, fog proof. Um, they do have pretty good eye relief as well. So like in my case, I have glasses, so I will uh, 
twist these all the way down. Uh, if you don't wear glasses, you can move these out so that you've got, uh, I believe it's 17 millimeters of eye relief away from here. And uh, just allow some really easy use with these. And uh, I know that for me, it's definitely gonna enhance my ability to be able to uh, glass a little bit better this year, hopefully see a little bit more and see a little bit further with, with a heck of a lot more clarity. So um, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you watching as always. Um, click on the link below. Be sure to subscribe and like our channel. And uh, if you're in the market for new glass, I definitely recommend checking out Vortex. Okay, so we kind of got everything put together here now. The harness that I like to run is an Alps. Uh, harness. This is the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation version here. I purchased this a couple years ago. What I like about it is its versatility. Um, for me, some of the things that are nice features is the fact that it does have two mole straps here on the side. So I've purchased an auxiliary mole pouch here, which allows me to put my range finder in here. I've got an extra wind indicator in here. This exterior pouch allows me to carry uh, some of my um, extra calls from Phelps in here. I like to carry my tag in that pouch as well. Uh, I actually carry a pen with me that I put into <clears throat> this little sleeve on the outside here. And it's just really a nice additional feature. On the pouch itself, my uh, primary wind indicator goes in this nice small pouch here, which has a nice elastic uh, tension on it, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And then as I open the pouch itself, on the inside here, you'll notice that everything straps in. So if I need to, I can drop these down. Obviously, I could be ready to shoot. Um, so these are attached, allows me to have nice quick access. Fits in super easy, slides down in. It's got the elastic cord here. And then this also has an additional pouch here in the front. So if I wanted to carry something small in here, I could, like a lens cleaner. I always carry an extra one of those in there, just in case, um, because if it gets wet or something like that, and then I have this uh, lens cleaner here. So this is something that a buddy of mine put me on two years ago. And what it is, is has a lens cleaner in a neoprene sleeve here and, and just attaches to your harness and you stuff that in there and it really keeps it from what should be moisture or if you get into rain or, or any type of snow or something like that, it kind of keeps it out of the way and it's really quick and easy to access. So this is the harness that I run. Hopefully this is helpful to you uh, again. We'll provide links to any of the things that we put in here as much as possible, and uh, hopefully this is something that gives you an idea of, I want all the things in here to be quick, accessible. I know I'm going to use my calls a lot. I know I'm going to use my range finder. I know I'm going to use my binos, my wind indicator. So I want all those things accessible to me right here in front so that I can get them out, use them, put them back away, and I don't have to take gear on and off, and I can continue kind of doing my thing and, you know, glassing or whatever that might be. So... Please be sure to like our page, uh, subscribe to our channel. We want to continue to bring you as much information, tips, and, and things like that that we possibly can. We appreciate you tuning in, and uh, hopefully you guys have a great season.